Hello everyone, so this is a, a quick video uh, unboxing and review of the Therm Pro Ultra Fast Digital Food Thermometer. Um, this is um, I think about $12 um, sold on Amazon and uh, uh, I bought this uh, thermometer, because, thermometer because I really want to uh, be able to know the correct cooking temperature of the oil that we're using to fry food. Um, as you know, uh, in order to get really crispy um, fried stuff, you need to actually fry the food at the correct oil temperature. And uh, um, I have another uh, thermometer. Let's see. But I'm just going to show you guys really quick. So this one is actually a uh, OXO thermometer, but uh, when it says instant, it's really not the instant. Uh, to measure anything hot, it actually takes a few seconds uh, to get a proper reading. And uh, this one also, uh, the measuring temperature doesn't go as high as I want it. Um, so as you can see, the measuring temperature in Fahrenheit for OXO is 0 to 220. And I think the Therm Pro actually have a much wider range and it's digital. Um, so I'm gonna just do a quick test and see how fast it actually uh, gives us a, a reading um, on the spot. So uh, this is our model number TP-03B. So I'm gonna open up the packaging. And very plain and simple packaging over here um, with a bubble wrap and some quick manuals. So you get a 10% off coupon code for their other products. Not sure if I'm ever gonna use it. Uh, extend the warranty. Uh, how do you do that? So basically, if you register the product on their website, you can get a three-year warranty out of this uh, thermostat. Otherwise, I think it's a, it's a one-year warranty. So the the reason I got this one is because it actually, compared to a lot of other thermostats, this one actually uses a AAA battery. Um, some other thermostat in the similar price range actually use the CR2032 batteries. And uh, I don't really like those button battery. I like the AAA because it's easy to find and easy to replace. So that's the reason I got this one. Um, so right off the packaging, you have a user manual right over here. Uh, let's just quickly go through and see. So the specification for this one is actually a much, much wider range. Um, you see, look here. It's much wider temperature measurement than the, uh, the physical thermostat that I showed you guys earlier. Just see uh, the OXO. So um, I have the two buttons, power button and the light button, and then the um, Celsius and Fahrenheit switching button. So. It's got a 10 minute auto power off feature. So if you turn it on and you forgot to turn it off, it automatically turns off. The resolution goes to 0 0.1 um, Celsius or Fahrenheit degrees. And the accuracy is actually pretty good. It's uh, plus minus 0 0.9 Fahrenheit or plus minus uh, 0 0.5 Celsius degrees. Um, in the range of 32 to 220, uh, 212 Fahrenheit, or zero to 100 Celsius degrees. So in normal environment, its accuracy is, is very decent. Now I think if you go to some of the extreme temperatures, uh, that actually actually um, lowers just slightly. So I think it goes to um, plus minus one Celsius degrees. Uh, before first use, so you need to insert the battery, clean the stainless steel tip, and uh, it says, do not immerse the product's body into water. So this is not waterproof, keep that in mind. Uh, the only thing you can immerse in water is the is a metal probe. So see how to, okay, so you press it, it opens up like, uh, like one of those um, uh, pop-out knives. So if you press it, you can open it up or close it. 
like like so. But then again, it doesn't do it so well. Like I, I couldn't really close it easily without a help of like pushing it a little harder on this edge. So if I open it by pressing it again, so it opens like it opens like that. It doesn't open all the way. You have to manually do it all the way. Uh, find the battery door over here. Very very loose battery door. Like super easy to open. Um, try to put one battery inside. All right, so I just put a fresh pair of the battery that uh, that's included with the package into there, and it looks like it already turned on. Um, let's remove the seal. By the way, it's uh, it's raining really loud. Uh, it's it's a thunderstorm going on outside, so uh, bear with me. So I think it's right now it's already turned on. If I press the power button, it turns on the light and I press it again, the light turns off. I would assume to turn it off, you long press. Yep, so long press the power button, it turns it off. And uh, the Celsius and Fahrenheit switch button is on the back. So you, when, when the thing is powered on, you press that and it should switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius degrees. So let's turn it on. Okay, you have to long press long enough for it to be able to turn on. So. Um, it gives me a reading of 79 Fahrenheit. Let's see what the reading is for this thermostat. So this one says it's about um, 74, 75 Fahrenheit uh, degrees. Um, so I'm gonna immerse this into actually ice cold water and this should be close to zero Celsius degrees. And let's see if it actually gives the accurate meeting. Right, oh wow. It, it measures really quick though. Yep, so 36, 35, 34. So, um, ice cold water, like the ice should be, should be zero uh, Celsius degrees. And this one is actually giving me a reading of 1.8 to 2.1 and uh, I'm actually gonna try the try the analog thermostat just in case and see how fast it actually drops below uh, to that reading so It takes about, it took almost 20 seconds for the thing to drop to around um, 30 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, so right off the bat, I can tell you that the OXO is actually less accurate um, than the digital thermostat that uh, that I just unboxed because um, this thing is not supposed to go below 32 and this is actually um, going way below 30. It went to like, I would say like 27, 28 um, degrees Fahrenheit. So right off the bat, this is inaccurate. And uh, I would assume this is accurate because ideally ice cold, like ice, forms at zero uh, Celsius degrees. And this one's giving me a reading of 1.7 because I have actually liquid in in here. So, and as you can see, it actually lowered to this temperature fairly quickly. Um, so I would say the digital thermostat uh, from Therm Pro actually works uh, quite well. Um, Later on, I'm gonna cook some food and I'm gonna uh, measure again on the temperature of the food and then do a quick comparison between this and the, um, the analog one. But uh, right off the bat, I would say this one is actually more accurate uh, than the analog thermostat. So stay tuned. Okay, since uh, my wife is gonna fry some um, pork ribs, I am gonna actually just use this to measure the oil temperature uh, before she starts to frying. 
uh, the optimal temperature for frying is at least 375 um, degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to measure the temperature of this oil and see uh, what temperature it is at. So basically I have this already turned on. I'm going to put it in here. As you can see, it still takes a few seconds for it to actually get to that accurate reading. Um, but uh, no, the temperature is, uh, is away from being ready. Uh, this is only 235 Fahrenheit. So we need it to be at 375. So again, I bought this thermostat because we really want to know the accurate oil temperature for frying. Um, and uh, this should help us do that. So we're gonna bring up the the heat and then we're gonna measure again in a little bit. Okay, as you can see, I take it out and then the measurement of the temperature drops. But uh, even though it says it's instant, it still takes, you know, at least 10 plus seconds to get a accurate reading if the temperature is really high or the temperature goes extremely low. So keep that in mind as well gonna turn the thermostat off for now all right it's been uh, another few minutes so I'm gonna measure the oil temperature again as you can see the oil temperature actually rised uh, uh, significantly after a few minutes so now it's uh, 370 degrees 34 okay so it's ready to fry so we're gonna just go ahead and start frying stuff and again that's why I said it's really important to know the correct temperature of the oil so you can fry things properly so this is the first batch of the frying and the thermostat is also great for second batch the second frying so basically you want to bring the oil temperature back to 375 uh, degrees Fahrenheit and then put the thing in there for second second fry uh, right now the temperature is 330 ish we're gonna wait for 375 and then we're gonna refry the the thing again all right check it out 380 degrees uh, Fahrenheit so we're ready for a second uh, second fry second frying of those uh, pork ribs all right, so that's how you use the thermostat uh, for frying stuff. Again, really, really helpful to have a digital thermostat that can read temperatures uh, very quickly, okay? And another thing I didn't mention, which I think is great, is it's super convenient to just store it right next to the fridge. You just do that, and then it sticks there. So really easy uh, to grab it for easy access. So it have a magnetic uh, strip on the back, so that's, uh, that's one thing I want to add um, to the features of this uh, thermostat. Thank you again guys uh, for watching at this video. If you have any questions or comments about this thermostat, feel free to let me know in the comment section. And uh, also please do hit the like button or subscribe if you uh, find this video helpful. And uh, I will have more similar contents coming out for you guys. Thanks again and uh, take care.